It's senior year. Last year in high school, possibly the last time you'll see some people, and time to make the decision. It's the first semester of your senior year. It's full of application, last minute SATs, ACTs, ABCs, stress, and you're trying to figure out what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. What if you still don't know? And you're trying to stay caught up with all your schoolwork, get those good grades. What if there's a chance for you to keep all that but not having to worry about what you're gonna do? Gap years is that chance to give you that break and make that decision more thoroughly so you know what you wanna do. A gap year is a year of exploration for somebody who isn't quite sure what they want their next step to be. It's a chance for people to get acclimated with the real world. I took my gap year after I graduated with a bachelor's degree from St. John Fisher College in Rochester, New York. I knew I wanted to go to graduate school eventually and that I wanted to get a job, but I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. I think a lot of people get somewhat jaded by what they experience in high school and because college is so different than high school, I think it's nice to sort of let yourself separate from one style of education in order to uh, prepare for another. And there's all kinds of different gap year programs. They're specifically into two different categories. The first category is a service-based program, and the second category is like a cultural immersion program. City Year is the only program that I really know of in the Bay Area that hires uh, people right out of high school. I will be spending my gap year uh, working for Skate Slate Longboarding Magazine as their layout designer and also as a reporter and photographer. City Year is a national nonprofit organization that hires 17 to 24 year olds to commit to a year of full time community service. As tutors, mentors, and role models, our core members work in schools every day where they tutor students who have fallen behind. The goal of City Year is to keep students in school and on track to graduate from high school. So every day we're fighting the high school dropout rate by working together to work with the students who need it the most. There's a lot of options for people who are coming out of college. Uh, Jesuit Volunteer Corps is an option. Also, the Peace Corps is another really great option. The service programs are usually programs where you get paid or you get some sort of benefit to be a part of it. All I'm going to have to answer to is my boss. and I have a lot of free time with which I can develop my music, uh, my art, my photography, my writing, anything else that I'm not doing when I'm working. And I think it's one of the few times when you've got a guaranteed next step in your life uh, without having to worry about getting there. So you've got this whole year to just explore. I decided to join City Year was because of the state of the economy when I graduated. It was 2009 when I graduated from college and I had a print degree in journalism. And as a lot of people know, there weren't really a lot of jobs then. So I really wanted to ride out the economic wave and see what was going to be available afterwards. But I ended up really falling in love with everything that I was doing at City Year and everything that it stood for. So I ended up sticking around for another year where I work in recruitment and I do all of our social media. You learn a lot about yourself and a lot about the world and oftentimes kids go into high school uh, you know, sort of trying to find themselves and they, then they move on to college and they still don't really know what they want to pursue. And a gap year really gives them the chance to figure out what their morals are and what their interests are before they have to go in and start paying $40,000 a year for their education. One of the poignant moments I had in City Year was when I walked into the school I was serving at for the first time. I worked at Lee Matson Middle School last year. The first day that I was there, I walked into an eighth grade classroom of students who were mostly newcomers. They had just come from Mexico and some other places, and they were sounding out the word cat, sounding out the word bat, dog. So these were a group of 14-year-old children who were reading at below a second grade reading level. And I don't think I'll ever forget that. I, I really had to fight back tears because I didn't know that places like this existed in our country. I figured everyone had access to at least a decent education. And these students had just been failed for so many years that here they were about to enter high school barely being able to read. And to add on top of that, the school didn't have a functioning library. I walked in the library on the first day, there were books on the floor, none of the books were in the computer system, so students couldn't take out books. So not only were the students not able to read, they didn't have the resources they need to be able to try and learn to read. So I made it my mission that year to reopen the school library, and I did. I put all the books back in order. I entered all of the books into a computer system by hand, and by February, I was able to reopen the library. And I'll never forget the day when the library opened, and the students came in, and they asked me, like, 
can I take a book out? And I told them yes. And they literally were hugging each other because they were so happy about it. And it, I still get goosebumps thinking about it now because it's just something that I was able to do as a young person. And I think that's something that a gap year can give to you is show you that you can be empowered to really make a huge difference in different communities across the country. And you don't need to vote for somebody to do it. You can be the person who does it yourself. There's been a lot of research done over the past couple years about young people who do gap years, and they are way more likely to attend college and finish college and be successful in college due to their gap year experience. In the U.S., there's sort of this idea that, you know, you go to elementary school, then middle school, and then college, and then you graduate, and you um, maybe take a year off, maybe, but then you go to graduate school, and you, you figure out what you're going to get good at, and you get married, and you have your kids, and you have your job, and you have your life. And, you know, it may sound a little cliche, but the, the whole education system is based around the Prussian system where you're either going to be a soldier or you're going to be an employee. You're supposed to follow directions. So, of course, the mindset that people are, um, or I guess the, the thing that's, that's really pushed on kids is the fact that they have to follow the traditional path. But college doesn't necessarily work for everybody. Now, that's not to say that I don't want to go to college, but I think that definitely because I've got my life um, focused on other things right now, I see college as one potential step but it's not the only way to be successful in life.